at 77, I have got to keep moving and I've got to keep the exercise going and watching what I eat and take care of myself. It was a quadruple bypass and diabetes diagnosis that prompted Sherlyn Nickerson to start riding her three-wheeled bicycle. She started years ago, not long after her husband passed. Knew that I had to take better care of myself. I knew that I had to start, as they say, use it or lose it. Before long, it became more than just exercise. It became a community as others joined her. It also became a ministry for the group as they began praying for their neighbors while riding. They call themselves the Trike Angels. We just have a really, really wonderful time in the Lord and being able to be out there and, and ministering. And it's awesome because you feel like you're really out there doing God's work. Then one day in December 2022, she hit a patch of ice and crashed into a curb, injuring her right knee. I was really scared when I fell. It was against cement. And I, I was in a puddle of water, so I was soaking wet with all this ice water. A friend gave her a ride home. Sherlyn tried to get some rest. I tried to not go to the hospital, but at 1 o'clock in the morning, it was hurting so bad. I woke my son up and I said, I've got to go to the hospital because it is hurting so bad. After taking x-rays and other tests that came back negative, the ER staff sent Sherlyn home and told her to take ibuprofen for the pain and swelling. I mean, I knew I couldn't ride because I could barely walk. And so they put a, a knee brace on it. And I wore the knee brace probably for about two to three weeks. She then sought the help of a chiropractor, but neither the treatments nor medication helped. And it would wake me up at night. My sleep would be interrupted and it just, it hurt. Even then, Sherlyn continued to ride, holding tightly to her faith, believing for healing. People would ask me, how's the knee? And I'd say, God's got it. He's got it. And I just kept on trucking. Then on April 17th, five months after her injury, she turned on the 700 Club. For many people, you've heard the stories of the right knee and you're going, well, I've got knee problems too. And whether it's the right knee or the left knee or both knees, just lay your hands on your knees right now. And we agree touching them in Jesus' name. Be healed. And I just kind of said, Lord, I wish that could be me, <laughs> you know, because it'd been so long. The next thing I know, they're going off air. Yeah, there's one thing. When someone is saying, could that possibly be me? This is such a strange thing, but you have a very large red patent leather purse that you carry year round. God's healing you. And of course, everybody knows I carry my red purse and they see it all the time and they know I carry that purse all the time. And I just said, God, that's me. And I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. And I reached down to rub my knee that I'd just been rubbing, and it didn't hurt. And I went, wait a minute, God. And then I stuck my leg out and bent it, and I couldn't believe that I could bend it all the way that I bent it. You know, it was just unreal because I couldn't bend it before. And so I just was praising God. Sherlyn says her miraculous healing has encouraged not just her, but those around her to believe God for their own miracles. And I had somebody at the church say to me, before you shared what God did for you, she said, I used to think that was all fake on TV. She said, I'm listening for my word now. Sherilyn is still riding with the trike angels pain-free and praying for others. It's increased my faith more to pray for other people. To, to believe that they can be healed too. And so it's, it's more than anything, it is to encourage people that God's real and that he will heal.